Some 900 earthquakes hit southern Iceland on Monday, November 13, authorities said, adding to tens of thousands of tremors that rattled the region in recent weeks as the country braces for what could become a significant volcanic eruption. Almost 4,000 people were evacuated over the weekend as authorities feared that molten rock would rise to the surface of the earth and potentially hit a coastal town and a geothermal power station. We have this tremendous uncertainty now, will there be an eruption and if so, what sort of damage will occur, said Matthew James Roberts, director of the Service and Research Division at the Icelandic Meteorological Office. Inhabitants of the town of Grindavik described being whisked from their homes in the early hours of Saturday as the ground shook, roads cracked and buildings suffered structural damage. Hans Vera, a Belgian-born 56-year-old who has lived in Iceland since 1999, said there had been a constant shaking of his family's house. You would never be steady. It was always shaking. So there was no way to get sleep, said Vera, who is now staying at his sister-in-law's home in the Reykjavik suburb. It's not only the people in Grindavik who are shocked about this situation, it's the whole of Iceland. He said. Almost all of the town's 3,800 inhabitants had been able to find accommodation with family members or friends, and between 50 and 70 people were staying at evacuation centers. A rescue official said. Some evacuees were briefly allowed back into the town on Sunday to collect belongings, such as documents, medicines, or pets, but were not allowed to drive themselves. You have to park your car five kilometers from town and there's 20 cars, huge cars from the rescue team, 20 policemen, all blinking lights, it's just unreal, it's like a war zone or something. It's really strange, Vera said. The Red Jane's Peninsula is a volcanic and seismic hotspot southwest of the capital. In March 2021, lava fountains erupted spectacularly from a fissure in the ground measuring between 500 m and 750 m long in the region's Fagradalsjöll volcanic system. Volcanic activity in the area continued for six months that year, prompting thousands of Icelanders and tourists to visit the scene. In August 2022, a three-week eruption happened in the same area, followed by another in July of this year.